challenge as always in the new research is to develop a new technology. And the technology which we developed in the early 80s was the nuclear transfer between different mouse embryos. So this technology made it possible to take a genetic material out of fertilized mouse egg and replace it with the genetic material from other embryo or from any cell. Our purpose for developing this technology was not so much to do cloning, but actually to try to identify genes which are important for early development. What we found in, in our experiment was that the mammalian development requires fixed numbers of chromosomes. But it's not just the numbers that are important. It suggested that there was some extra information that was coming in from, from parent chromosomes. Um, which was dependent on the, on the memory of their origin. And we call this uh, phenomenon genomic imprinting. Normally, all the genes which we have, or most of the genes which we have, have two active copies. However, imprinted genes would then have a, one active copy, be it coming from male or from the female. This changed the way how we think about genetics, so introduced what we call paradigm shift, and it also introduced the concept of epigenetics. And the epigenetics is now a very prominent part of the genetic science, but it started with the imprinting. A great impact of the work uh, on genomic imprinting has been in the field of epigenetics, because this work demonstrated that these kinds of Epigenetic modifications can be introduced, they are heritable and have consequences for development. We were excited to find that imprinted genes have important functions in mammalian development and physiology. We found that these genes have an impact on aspects of metabolism, homeostasis, behavior. You have to realize that Normally, we have two active copies of a gene, so if one of them is mutated, the consequences are probably negligible. However, if you have only one active copy, and now this one gets mutated, the consequences will be very drastic. And there are several diseases and syndromes which are based on the fact that imprinted genes were mutated. Some human diseases, such as cancers, are caused by loss of epigenetic memory. The enzymes involved in the introduction of epigenetic modifications and erasure are primary targets now for therapeutic uh, discoveries to treat many of the human diseases. 